Hey guys, it's Tasha and I'm back with another tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to create this really pretty outer space themed moon man. Okay, so we're starting this nail um, with the base color number 62 from Ugly Duckling. It's a really, really deep, deep blue. And then after you've cured uh, your two coats of color, you're going to go in with a small angled brush that's loaded with half white gel polish and half base top gel. You're going to start drawing a half circle on the side of the nail. This one is more like three quarters of a circle, but anyways. Um, once your moon is established on the corner of the nail, you're going to begin blending out the white. You're going to keep it concentrated at the outer edge of the moon and then start fading it towards the middle. Having the combination of the white gel polish and the base top on the brush at the same time is what's going to help us fade that white out so it's not so stark. Okay, so then using a mix of the white gel polish and base top, apply more gel at the outer corner of the moon. It's going to be a lot of repetition for this design because we're building um, the opacity of the white on the outer corner or outer edge of the moon. So you're just going to keep the gel polish concentrated at the outermost part of the moon and keep blending and fading the white towards the center. Blend, 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 blend. You can see I'm kind of jumping back and forth. I'm kind of perfecting that outer outline of the moon. It got a little wobbly. And then I'm not adding more uh, product to my brush. I'm just using whatever is on the nail. And I'm kind of fading it, um, trying to fade it out to that deep blue color so it's looking like there's a shadow on the right side of the moon. And then I took some more white gel polish on the very tip of the brush and I'm kind of just almost sponging it onto the nail, kind of just dabbing it around. And this is going to help start to create um, some of the uh, peaks and valleys and the craters on the moon. Okay, so now I've switched my brushes. I have broken out my Detailer 2 brush from Ugly Duckling. You guys, you probably heard me rave about this brush in other videos, but I am telling you, this brush is my everything. It's so versatile and I just love it. Anyways, I've loaded it with a little bit of white uh, gel polish and I'm concentrating that on the outermost part of the moon. And then after outlining, I'm going to switch back to my angle brush and a little bit more white gel polish. And all I'm doing is continuing to blend. And I'm blending from the outermost corner or outer, outer, oh, 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 outer, mo oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I was going to take that out, but it was kind of funny. So I'm leaving it in. Anyways, I'm concentrating on the outermost side of the moon. Moons are round. They don't have corners. And I am blending that white inwards again towards the center of the moon. Just keep blending that white out. We're starting to um, build some opacity on the outside of the moon there. You can see the white is getting a little bit more opaque. And you're really starting to see that shadow that we're creating on the right side of the moon. Okay, so now I'm taking the angled brush again and some black gel polish. You're going to dry brush the black on the opposite side of the white. When I say dry brush, I mean there's barely any product on this angled brush. Um, too much black and it's going to overtake your whole design. So all I'm doing is where the white kind of starts to fade, I'm going back with that black and I'm blending it. Okay, you guys ready for a new step? Just kidding! <laughs> more blending with white but this time I'm not I don't have a lot of product on my brush I'm kind of just almost kind of splotching it around I'm not really being super precise this is kind of adding some texture to the face of the moon and um, 
kind of giving the look of craters and that kind of stuff so don't be overly neat with this part those different tones of white and black in there really help create the uh, craters on the moon and I'm just going back with you guessed it white gel polish and now I'm actually adding little dots and splotches of the gel polish kind of everywhere helping create craters So I'm going back now that our moon is cured and I'm using number 13 gel polish from Ugly Duckling. It is the perfect uh, gel polish for this kind of design. It's a holographic silver in a clear gel base and it looks awesome over a dark color and totally gives the effect of stars. So I'm going ahead and placing that around the moon and then I'm going to do a full cure. So I debated cutting this next part out just because it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing but um, I have fully cured number 13 gel polish and now I'm going back with the white gel polish, very 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 tiny amount on my detailer 2 brush and I'm just putting random little dots of it everywhere and now I'm actually working on making a starburst. So I just put a, a bigger dot of white uh, down and now I'm just dragging outwards from the dot to create the starburst. And once you're happy with how many stars you've got going on, you're going to fully cure this in the lamp. Uh, LED, we suggest 45 seconds. UV, I suggest 2 minutes. Now I'm going to seal with our award-winning matte top coat. And then removing that tacky layer and revealing our beautiful moon. I guess you could say this Manny is out of this world. <laughs> oh, that's so lame. Anyways, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Hey, let's be social. Find me on Instagram at Natasha Harton.